Hi friends, this is Vitrivel. Uh, this tutorial I am going to teach using SQL Server uh, in Data Grid View, uh, Data Grid View Combo Box. How to load, load the record from the SQL uh, dynamically? Uh, this question, my one of my subscription uh, subscriber is asked those questions. So now I will explain how to do that. Okay. First of all, what I am doing, just I am adding one the data grid view here. So just I added here and I will explain, extend and click here. You will click edit icon and click add here. I will add just for sample ID. This is a combo uh, data grid view text box column and name. This is this is also we can make it as a data grid view text box column and one more thing option. So this is I will make as a uh, combo box column. So and close it. If you forget to change the combo box column then you can select and you can change here column type will be there you can change text box whatever you can change here okay now we are using two text box columns and uh, one is uh, combo box columns just click add so if you are adding if you are adding uh, adding so we have the records okay uh, for example, uh, we can do one more thing just a minute for looking purpose. I will change the column size so for text box will be fill. I will give so so it will fill our uh, complete. Okay, now we have the grid view. So for this grid view, first of all, I will load some data from the SQL server. So just double click here. So on form load only, I will load the uh, data from the SQL servers. So for that uh, simplest way to connect the SQL server, just go to here, uh, sorry, view and uh, server explore on click up server explore. You will get this server explore here. Connect option will be there. Connect your DB. So if you are DB server name and uh, your uh, data DB you can connect it if you are uh, using SQL Express edition then you have to use dot and slash and SQL expression you can type SQL expression blah 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 like that you can type so it will connect so dot means it will take your computer name by default RL you can use local also it will take uh, your computer name so here I'm using just dot okay and click connect ok means it will connect like that so here is, this is my db i connected classmate uh, db so on click up this db you will see the connection string here you can copy this connection string control c and you can use it for further usage okay okay this is my connection string uh, now i am going to add uh, uh, connection between the sql server and our application so uh, SQL date SQL connection right here yeah. connection so here is not showing error is throwing just click here and you will see the icons and click so using system data SQL client is needed for the reference once you hit the these things it automatically uh, insert into reference now con equal to new connections so here i will pass it my connection string okay okay i passed successfully now i will use sql data adapter sda equal to new sql data adapter here i here i will write my uh, code so first of all i will what i am planning to do first i will load the records for id and name after that i will load option alone separately okay so i will do two sql queries one is uh, populating the data for the data grid view another one is populating the data for particularly for that combo box okay data grid combos that is my intention i am doing now uh, in your way in your application how you are going to implement you can do it such a way okay now just uh, 
uh, I will write select star from which DB so I don't have the which DB so this is my DB whatever I connected no the DB only here uh, for example classmate DB I connected uh, and I'm going to use student information yes yeah, student information I will use control C uh, so control C just I will put it student informations and connection CYN so what is the advantage of the using SQL data adapter we can use SQL data reader also because we, here we are doing only reading option and you can use a command also so SQL data adapter means you no need to open the connection and you no need to close the connection so by default uh, we have to do any SQL operation we have to open the connection and we have to close the connection but you are using SQL data adapter means you no need to open and close it will automatically it will do it will take care we can tell us okay uh, now I will declare one data table so data table DT equal to new data table okay here uh, SDA dot fill DT so I done now what I'm going to do here mm, so I will to I have to fill the details to my grid view that is my first intention right so I will use uh, for, for each so for each just select here tab one more time you are you have to do tab again in your keyboard it will create the uh, like a syntax syntax it will create now here you can use like you have to render uh, based on uh, data table so how many records you have based on that you have to render okay now what I am going to do just um, I will put dt dot rows so how many rows is there you have to render like that I will tell now here uh, I will see here our grid view is there so each row I have to insert like while looping I have to insert I have to insert the records into that data grid view so here what I am do I am going to do uh, just put uh, int uh, n equal to data grid view dot rows dot add so why I'm using here n int n specifically so whenever the data will be a row will be added new row will be added that index it will copy into this n so I'm going to use that as a uh, row index so here no need for each loops so for sorry a for loop so here for each loop only we can handle those such a things okay now uh, data grid view one dot rows rows equal to n so dynamically row it will add and cell uh, which which cell so first cell so dot uh, value equal to uh, item dot which value I need uh, like uh, if I'm using select star from student info right yeah student so which db this db okay student information i'm using see this is student id so this id i want to show so this is the indexing you can index you can main, uh, mention for example here index equal to a zero i can maintain uh, i can maintain but here uh, and to string so here to string is not coming why means we are using the where where means it will take as object you have to declare the specific type here so data uh, row yeah data row I'm considering a data row now it will consider as the index uh, and to string and name name which is the index so uh, name will be uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 
for me this is also very difficult right i have to identify the index right instead of that i will do directly name also so alt f1 i am giving here so it will show the uh, all the names in here so i will copy this the column name so i will directly mention column name also so i am showing either way you can use you can mention the column name or you can mention the index of the uh, your column so it will work cell one dot value equal to item so column name to string see i used index as well as i used this also and data grid uh, in data this data grid view uh, third column will be uh, third column is uh, combo box column this column alone i will render from the other source okay we will see that later now just i will run it what is coming we have to see right oh what is coming student name does not sorry see here what i used student information but here I mentioned school information so I made a different table I configured different table that is the issue so I will save change it again I will run it see I got all the information successfully uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. now I will uh, populate the records to here so to how to populate the records for example i have some uh, certain codes for uh, code i have already so if you want to i will show one more things like just i will copy this code to explain you this is not required actually anyway i will explain you uh, for example i just add it here so what i am doing uh, data grid view combo box uh, cmb equal to combo box and header text select data and name i will give us a cmb and uh, this not needed uh, okay true false and i'm adding to data grid view column one so now what is happening we'll see it will create one more new uh, grid view here sorry combo box here so it's adding the new combo box here and with values so you can see the values here so all the values you will see right yeah all the values you will see here right so like that also you can do uh, but the thing is whatever column we have already in that column only I have to load the dynamic records uh, from the SQL that is my uh, requirement uh, so here that means this is not needed right yes not needed so I will just I will comment it this for your reference you can use this code also okay uh, and now my scenario is I have to add uh, certain values to dynamically to the uh, the text okay now what I am going to do I will create one uh, combo box uh, s uh, sorry string array so what I am go going to do I just I'll copy this string array so I declare one string array so this is value 1 and value 2 and value 3 this string is contained three values okay uh, is contained three values I just I will copy one more thing just copy here what I am doing so here I am declaring one uh, cell sample here before it, it is data grid view combo box column you can see column now I am doing data grid view combo box cell so I am directly assigning to the some certain values to specifically uh, particular cell understood right specifically particular cell so that means I am not adding new column on fly on fly uh, we have already three columns so in the three column third column I am doing to add certain data I am not creating new columns uh, you can search from such way internet means you will get most of the source like uh, they will add dynamically in new columns from that only they will add but they won't do in existing, existing column how we have to inject the data okay 
now I'm doing so this is just my source so like for example this is hard coded source uh, I'm just for uh, reference for, for your reference only I'm adding this uh, here I do data source uh, this data source equal to this and this value here I will declare like one create one more uh, sorry assigning the values to the third column dot rows n dot cell which is a second the second means index second means third column uh, no no need value equal to uh, I am directly assigning to the cell sample here so save now I am going to run see this option is there see here you will get the details right now yeah you got the details now I, uh, this example is hard coded value but I need from the data from SQL server only so I don't want to use this code so what I'm go I'm going to do uh, I will create one more SQL data adapter here to bind it that record I will assign to here and I will, I'm going to do so for that I already re sorry I already written the some code such a code uh, for example, okay, so this is array list because we know how many data is here, so that's why we are using the string array. But uh, in dynamically from SQL we are reading means we doesn't know how many records it will come. That time we have to use the uh, array collections. So array collections, uh, string array list, same name for. Uh, for easy purpose I am using same name only uh, that name only here uh, we referred see array list it it not be by default you have to um, refer the system dot collection namespace then only it will it will work so I refer the system dot namespace now I have to get the data from the uh, one more uh, SQL data adapter I will use so what I will do just copy this code SQL data adapter 1 data table 1 SQL data adapter 1 and data table 1 so here I will get from which table this holiday information from here I will get the data so just I will change to holiday information holiday okay so holiday data I will get from this table right sorry did this data table I will get now again I will use for each tab tab it will create the instance so here I will use data table one dot rows here data row so I will add to this string collection by dynamically so dot add here I will use item dot so value of the so the which one I want to going to show means in drop down this description I want going to show so just I will copy this name of the column and here I will paste it and I will close it okay so that name of the column it will come better you have to use two string to convert the convert as a string so this collection it will add it in this values it will dynamically it will add it into the string collection this string collection it will going to uh, here like uh, uh, as a data source it will go that data source it will bind it into this uh, data grid view combo box okay now I am saving just I will run once again so see we got it so we got it successfully so this is the uh, easiest way to implement uh, get the record from the SQL server uh, and uh, we have to integrate those records to uh, our uh, data grid view combo box thank you guys uh, please uh, comment it 
whatever you have feeling doubts and all because I will uh, make it video for you uh, and you will uh, learn so many things uh, that is my wish thank you thank you guys